I think the future of tires is really exciting. Let's assume that we move to this world of autonomous driving. The driver has been replaced by a computer system linked into robotics, putting sensors in every one of our tires. And that's, I think, where the future of tires is. Can we inform systems like this through monitoring what's going on at that tire interface? So how are the software systems talking to the tire? That's upping the game too. How do we make our tires more intelligent, give the software that's controlling these vehicles information? We could pass the state of friction into braking systems, the driving system, traction systems, and they can use that information now to replace the things that a human does in that system, but hopefully do them all the better, more predictably, more reliably. When you start to talk with autonomous vehicle providers, it's almost like going to space, going to the moon, landing on Mars. They're starting to, to realize one of the last things you really have to maintain on the vehicle is the tires. For us, that's airless tires. And what we needed to learn first and foremost about airless tires was could you carry a lot of weight? So the Ollie is an excellent class. It weighs quite a bit since you're putting eight people in it, almost like a mini bus. So it creates a great space for us to learn and develop uh, the technology. The concept of bold goals for us was to really stretch our capabilities. Can we have 100% sustainable material tire within the next decade? A huge moonshot. We don't know how to do it today but it really forces our engineers and scientists to go out and find people who are working on those cutting edge technologies to help us achieve it. We are trying to design solutions in a very futuristic way. And that's why as designers, you need to be interested in both the production environment, but also the future mobility visions. When we designed the Goodyear Oxygen concept, the problem was air pollution in big cities. So we designed this concept which has living moss embedded on the sidewall of the tire, which will absorb CO2 from the air. And through photosynthesis, it will then eject uh, oxygen into the cities. For the aero concept, the problem we saw was traffic in big cities. We see all the roads are full of vehicles and we were thinking about flying vehicles. Of course, when, when you think tire manufacture and flying cars, it doesn't match. But we thought, okay, what about designing a tire which could drive on the road, but could tilt to become propeller of a flying vehicle. When we were thinking about big cities and mobility, we thought, hey, what happens if we replace traditional tires into a sphere, into a ball? With a sphere, you could move laterally, you could do 360 turns. So it, yeah, of course, it's a way to attract people. It's an eye catcher. Our DNA is innovation and startup mentality. And so what's cool and exciting as this ecosystem keeps changing, we are part of that uh, right, right there. If I had to explain Goodyear's future vision for mobility, we'll keep making tires that have the best rolling resistance, tread wear, and traction. And it makes you excited to think about, we're just starting with something like intelligence. Where is that gonna be in 25 years? It's really humbling to be a part of the future. And sensors and tires is gonna be that same kind of exciting innovation for Goodyear.